Hey foodies, I'm gonna show you how to make garlic cheese pull apart buns. They're so easy to make, you'll wonder why weren't you making these earlier? Let's take a look at the recipe. So the key ingredient here is the Frankie's bread mix. This bread mix works to make a loaf of bread, baguettes, buns, pizza shells, and pull apart buns. And it's the secret ingredient here, and it's wonderful. And I've linked in the description below where you can pick this up, and let's get started. So we put all of this bread mix in, and we're gonna put our salad oil in, and our warm water, and we're gonna beat this up. And the key when making gluten-free bread is to really beat it and beat it and beat it and whip lots of air into it to let everything really meld and come together and to, to create pockets of air. Because it's gluten-free, it's, it's not gonna have the wheat gluten to give it the elasticity, so we have to create that air. So here we go. I'm going to scrape down the sides and give it one more whiz. Okay, so now I'm going to add my garlic. I'm using garlic scape. So I've added some garlic scape. You can add garlic, garlic scapes, you can add chives or green onions, you can add whatever you want. I had some extra garlic scape pesto left over, so that's what I've just put in. And I'm going to put in about half of the amount of cheese that I've got here. And I'm just going to lightly mix this in. Okay. So, we're going to scrape the paddle off. You'll notice that you can't really work this with your hands. You have to use a spatula because when it comes to gluten-free breads, they have to be a lot wetter than, than a traditional wheat bread because if it was as dry as a wheat bread, it would just be more like a briquette or a brick and it would be really heavy and dense. And that's why we make it a little bit wetter. So I've got my parchment paper lined pan and I've got a, a portion scoop. I like to call them ice cream scoops. And I am just gonna go and create a little mound of these. Now I'm going to lightly drizzle some olive oil on top. Mmm. And let's brush that olive oil a little bit. Looking nice. Mmm. Almost there. Now a bit of cheese. And this is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they smell so good. And I'm sure they look just as delicious on, on your side. So I want to take one of these apart. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 You can see the bits of cheese all inside of it. It's so tasty. Nothing beats fresh baked bread from the oven. I ended up baking this for about 35 minutes instead of the 20. Every oven is different. You just want to look for an internal temperature reading of about 90 to 99 degrees Celsius. I look forward to reading all of your comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.